Hey guys, Brad from Fishing Creek Metal Detecting, and today I have a really exciting video. So I ordered the Simplex from Wayne Morin at metaldetectingstuff.com, and it came. So I actually have it pretty early here in the United States. So I'm going to open it up with you guys and kind of give my first impression. It's taped up pretty good. Really excited to give this thing a try after hearing so many good reviews about it. Almost did. All right. Got that out of the box. Comes packaged pretty nice. I'm super excited about this detector. I've heard a lot of good things. Kevin at Potter County Diggers tried one out and he was pretty impressed with it. So I can't wait to give it a try myself. So let's get this thing out of its actual packaging. So, first thing. comes with a simplex hat which is pretty cool and Wayne sent me a metal detecting stuff hat too which is absolutely awesome so thanks for that it's metaldetectingstuff.com that's where I ordered this from I guess we'll just throw that on So I got the wireless headphones package, so there's that. They feel pretty quality. They're really nice actually. I'll set those aside. Velcroed in, pretty nice. Gonna have to figure out how to get that out. It feels really heavy duty. So there's the screen from the Simplex, and it feels, for holding it for the first time, it feels really well built. It does not feel flimsy at all. I need more room on my table. Here's the coil that comes with it. It's a real nice big coil. And I heard they're going to be coming out with smaller coils for it as well. So I'll have to order one of those to give that a try. We'll see how easy this is to put together. Maybe we'll need the instructions.
I'm going to read the instructions, throw this together, and I will be right back with you guys once this is put together. But so far, I'm really impressed. Everything feels really quality. It's got nice weight to it. You get it thrown together, I'll be right back. All right, got everything laid out nice. Gonna put this together with you guys. So, first thing we'll do, throw the gaskets in here. We'll attach it to the coil. fits in there nice and tight. If I can screw it on. like this goes on here and then it's adjustable from there and then that there we go everything fits real snug which is nice That'll fit on there, and I'll have to adjust it for my height. I'm not very tall, so I've got to make it as short as possible, basically. And then... Just have to wrap the coil wire, and I'll wrap it much nicer later, but for now... Just get it on. So that goes on this way. There we go. All right, and with that, it should be ready to turn on unless it needs charged. Let's see if it powers on. All right, we're on. Turn this so you guys can see it. Looks like the battery comes pretty well charged. And that's what it sounds like. I guess we'll turn that off for now. So that's how you put it together. And it's really, really nice how it comes fully charged. I think I'm gonna go get some coins. We'll throw it out and we'll hear some of the signals tonight. But then tomorrow I'm gonna get out and really test this thing. I'm gonna be making a lot of videos with it. I'm really, really excited to get out and get to use this. So I'm going to be doing a lot of testing and I'm going to be having a lot of fun with this new detector. So I'm going to go get a couple coins, take them out in the yard. It's dark, so I don't know how well I'll be able to see, but I just want to kind of get some test tones with this. So I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so we tried it outside, just a little too dark. So now we're going to do it in here on the table. We have a pretty good setup and we have a whole slew of different coins that I found that we're going to test out and just get the numbers and kind of see how it works. So we're going to start with just a wheat penny. It's ringing up as a solid 71. And just with testing this myself, what I really like is I can hold it a good eight to 10 inches away with the sensitivity not maxed. Well, the sensitivity is maxed now, but even not maxed, the sensitivity is hitting it from far away, which is really promising. So now we'll move on to a Indian head scent. On the Simplex, the Indian head sense ran in at 66, which is a little lower than I'm used to. But it's nice, you're going to be really able to tell the difference between a wheat penny and an Indian head. Then I have a US large scent, the one I dug on the channel. It's 
bringing up a 90, which is really different than the whites I'm used to. The whites rang it up as like a 75. So it's really strange to see it ring up as a 90, but I'm definitely not going to miss them. Now we're going to move on to the silver coins. We're going to start off with a Roosevelt silver dime. Silver dimes ringing in at solid 84, 85. We're going to move on to a barber. Looks like the barber is an 81. Solid 80, 81. Three coins left. We have the mercury dime. Which is ringing in 79, 80. So a little bit lower than the barber. Last two we have. We have silver quarter. Ringing in a really nice solid 93. Beautiful tone. And then we have a Walking Liberty 50 cent piece, which I found. And that is a solid 96, clear as day. And this is the 50 cent piece I found that was shot, which is really, really awesome. So I really like the tone of this machine. It sounds really nice when you go through it, really clear. I haven't played to the settings too much. I kind of want to go through and learn it before I really show you guys how it works. But it has different modes, so it has uh, prospecting, field, beach, and like home site. You can change the sensitivity pretty easy. It has nice, nice screen setup. I haven't figured out how to do the brightness yet to where I can leave the brightness on the majority of the time. But you can go through all the different settings, frequencies, do the depth. Seems like a really nice machine. I am so excited for it to be tomorrow so I can get out and test this thing in person. Sunday, I'm going to be doing a test against an Equinox and a White, so it's going to be a really good opportunity to really test this machine. And I can't wait to take it out to some places that I've done with my Whites, just to see how it holds up, see if I missed anything. So, thanks for watching, guys. Just a short video of me taking the first look at the Simplex. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.